One of the most common problems for new players in Star Citizen is that it can be difficult to locate the starports at the various landing zones. So therefore I'm going to take you through all of them today and show you how to locate the starport so you can go ahead and land. If you like to explore the depth of the space, then you want to hear about today's sponsor, Farpoint. Farpoint makes everything you need for stargazing and astrophotography. Whether you're new to the hobby or if you're a veteran astronaut, Farpoint has what you need. Do you have an old DSLR that you want to breathe some new life into? Get one of their compact double reflectors, perfect for capturing deep sky objects like the Pleiades or the Orion Nebula. Go to farpoint.d2a.com and start your space adventure today. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Star Citizen. Now if you're hanging over a specific landing zone, there will be timestamps on the um, on the timeline below where you can go to the specific landing zone that you are at. We are going to dive right into it with New Babbage on the planet Microtech. New Babbage is kind of laid out as you can see here with uh, some clusters of houses connected with some train lines and these are the ones that lights up as the roads going out. The starport is actually a little bit outside the main city and is easily located by the three big red towers or they have like big red lights on top of the tower so if you can spot these three towers with lights on it that is your spaceport. If you can't really see it if the weather is bad sometimes you can't really see it from the center of town the best way to locate it is to go and find the big hotel at the center of town this is called the Aspire Grand Hotel. Align up with the hotel as if you were like flying through the opening in the hotel there's like a, a hole in the middle of it don't try to do it but just imagine that you are flying through it there. If you're flying, going in the right direction, you will see two tram lines below you that kind of intersects and become one. If that's the case, then you're heading in the right direction. Keep flying in that direction and eventually those three towers with the red lights should show up in front of you. When you get close enough and you get the um, red message saying that you can contact ATC at the top center of your screen, you can press F11, go into your friends um, menu and from there you can contact the, um, um, the landing services and they are going to assign you a hangar. So you can go ahead and dock. Moving over to Lowell on the planet Hurston. This is luckily one of the easier ones to locate. It has this very big tower that towers up above everything. And one of the sides of this tower is going to be sloped. If you go to the slope and imagine you're just like sliding down the slope. So the side of the tower with the slope on right at the foot of the tower. That's where you have the spaceport. There will also be a number of holograms floating around the entire perimeter of uh, the spaceport. Say Teresa spaceport. So you can just look for those, fly within that perimeter, and uh, you're good to go. Once again, ready to land through the F11 menu. Go to French list, request docking, and find your hangar. Area 18 on the planet R Corp is a little bit more difficult, as there's no easy like, distinctions to find this one. You can see here that just like on New Babbage, this one is kind of laid out with like clusters of uh, skyscrapers. Go for the center of area 18. If you're in doubt where the center is, um, open up your quantum beacon basically with uh, pressing B and then find the, um, the quantum marker for it as that will be at the center of town. So once you're at the center of town, you kind of have to look for an area that's flat without skyscrapers, but where there's still light coming from it. So no buildings, but still light. You will also be very distinct that it will be some kind of road going down the center of this flat area. That's actually the road you're going to take when you take the city flight out to uh, to the spaceport. So see if you can locate that main road as that is the, the easiest and most distinct thing. It's, it's easier in the night. If you're there in the daytime, the spaceport will have some big red and white panels on it making it stand out from the from the bare ground around it. Once again, fly to the area, go into your um, F11 menu, go to French list, request docking, and you're good to go. And finally, we have Orison on the Gas Giant Crusader, and I think this is, this is probably the most difficult one. So here you have to get down quite low before you can actually begin to see the structures pop up through the cloud. So if you can't see them right away, don't worry. What you're going to be looking for is this, like uh, some people describe it as a spider web. I kind of... I think it looks like some kind of central hop with lightning shooting out from it in four different directions. Uh, I've highlighted it here on screen so you can see what you're looking for. It is quite distinct. It's the only thing that like vaguely resembles this um, in the area. So if you can find that, you're good to go. Another good way to kind of try to, uh, to locate it if you're getting lost, if you're there in, uh, at night where it can be very difficult to see is again, use your ping. Press tap and it will send out a ping. Use that ping to kind of locate the buildings and where they're at. 
and we are still having issues locating where the star port is exactly. Try to look for these two ring structures as it will be uh, in the vicinity of that. So if you're in doubt whether you're flying in the right direction at all, if you fly towards those ring structures and look around it, then you should be able to see that spiderwebby, lightning-esque structure pop up as you get closer. But as I said in the beginning of the segment, don't worry if you can't see it right away, go down lower and eventually it should pop up and use your ping to see it at night. Now, if I helped you find your landing pad today, I would really appreciate if you would do something for me and go down, like the video, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and also next time, I will see you guys in space.